Okay, what's good everyone? It's Chambers from ChambersMixed.com. I got another hopefully very informative and helpful video to a lot of people for you guys today. A little while back, I did a video about how to spend $100 as a music producer. I pretty much went through the best things that you can invest in to help your career, whether it's plugins or VSTs or places to learn music production, places to get drum kits or MIDI, stuff like that. If you haven't seen that video, I'm, I'm gonna do the little, I don't know if it's this side, or this side but it's the little thing you see it but i was reading the comments on that video and a few people said can you do a video on how to make 100 dollars as a music producer so today i'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make your first your very first 100 dollars selling beats as a music producer now obviously there's so many different ways you could do that but i'm going to be talking to you guys from my own personal experience and i'll take you through my process and any other extra pieces of information that i think you guys should know also p.s um if you only watch this channel because like you want to see fire beats get made and watch tutorials and stuff this is not one of those videos i'm going to be talking to you guys and trying to help you guys out so if you're not the type who likes to watch videos of, of people who are sitting in front of cameras talking to you giving incredible advice then go check out my other videos but for all the real ones that are ready to learn and who are looking for valuable advice that's what this video is going to be so before you can even like throw yourself into i'm about to start selling beats there's a few things that you got to understand right Obviously, one of the first main things is make sure that your beats are there. I've seen some situations of some people who like have just started making music and they did it for like a month or even like a week. And right after that, they make like two beats and I'm like, I'm ready to sell this. When you hear the beat that they're trying to sell to somebody, it sounds like this. Music production is a whole process. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to get good at. It's a whole craft that you need to work to perfect every day. And not just with beats and producing, but also with understanding how songs work. Like when you want an artist, a vocalist of some sort to get on your music, you need to understand that there are certain things that artists look for. And now I've done a lot on this YouTube channel with past videos about tips and tricks or things that are found in industry level beats. There's a bunch of different videos on this channel that I've made with the intention of helping people understand what makes a great beat. And of course, we go further into detail and more advanced with those topics and plenty of others in my online class, which is also a great way for people to learn no matter what level you are. But just make sure that you're putting the time in that you're confident in, in what you make. And it's not confident like I just made my first beat. I can make a tune note melody this sounds so good it doesn't trust me it doesn't and if you listen to it a year later from now you're gonna look back and say yeah that was terrible my personal experiences we're talking about that i did not have any intention of selling the music that i was making at least until like one or two years in at the very least one year from absolute nothing starting from scratch one to two years before i said i want to get this to an artist and now obviously looking back at those beats from that time that i made the quality has gone way up but at least i knew that those were decent enough to give it to an artist at that time so spend some time learning and also also build up your catalog have at least like a hundred beats that you believe in that you're confident with that you could say i could send this to someone right now and it's gonna be cool it could be from drill to trap to rmb to dark to happy to ambient whatever like have a good wide variety of beats set up i say like a hundred just ready to go beats make sure that they're labeled you know they have the title they have your name in it so the artist knows who made the beat make sure that you put the key in it make sure that you have the bpm in it a little side note bonus tip about working with artists they're gonna always prefer to work with people who are easy to work with no artist wants to get a beat in their email that they open and it says untitled underscore 9021079 make sure you got your name in it the key is in it and the tempo is in it because some of these artists might be recording themselves they want to put their beat into fl or whatever they're recording with and easily see oh that's the bpm that's the key i could get right to it they're always going to choose you over the guy who keeps sending beats with untitled names and whatever and one more thing aside from building up a catalog and making sure that your beats are like at that quality i would say just reassess your mindset don't go into this with your only intention being money 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 i need to make money that's not going to get you very far this is about building with artists this is about building relationships this is about making music you know you get that down and further down the road the money will come in but if you just start up with this is only about money i don't i just step back reassess what your intentions are finding great artists and building relationships with them making great music with them and the money will start coming in at the right time if you have those two things down we can start to move on so a lot of people use beat stars to sell their beats or they post them on youtube and, and it has a link to their beat stars or whatever i just want to first take down a common misconception a myth that 
You put your beats on BeatStars. You put your beats on YouTube. You just post them. You could take a step back and automatically someone's going to buy it, right? No, it's not impossible. It's just not very likely. You could put a type beat on YouTube and it might blow up and it might have some people contacting you to buy it. But is that likely? Not, not that much. You could upload a beat to BeatStars, but is that automatically going to put your beat at the very top of the list for artists who are looking to purchase beats? There's so many people uploading beats on BeatStars. I'm not saying that it's a bad platform. I'm saying that don't upload and expect things to happen. Your first beat sales are not going to be passive income. Unless you get lucky, you have something that blows up and something just happens. But I'm saying worst case scenario, you're not insanely lucky like that, you're going to have to work for it. Your client is not going to be coming to you. You need to go to your client. You're going to have to put the work in. So that brings us to our first obstacle in selling beats. How do we get to the client? How do we get to the rappers? How do we get to the vocalists, the singers, the people that we want to sell to? How are we supposed to get to them? What did I do when I was trying to sell beats? I used social media, the main two being SoundCloud and Instagram. It starts with SoundCloud. Cool thing about them is you can find playlists of like underground rappers, you know, people who aren't major label, who aren't signs there's everyday people who are making music it's so easy to just find one song and it will take you to so many other ones you swipe to the next one and it's a song that's like that there's like related songs everywhere once you get into that underground kind of world there's so so much music so many artists who put their stuff on soundcloud because it's free it's not like trying to upload to apple music or to spotify or to title i'm not looking on there i'm looking on soundcloud because it's easy for people to upload music whenever i would listen to these people's music Music, right i wouldn't just like listen skim through it for two seconds and then try to sell a beat to them i actually listen like pay attention to who you're listening to and try to see yourself producing a song for the artist that you're listening to if that person's making afrobeat or whatever music and you uh, you're not familiar with that at all then you should probably look somewhere else. If you love drill music, you love to produce drill music, then you're going to want to be looking for those underground drill rappers. Picture it like, yo, I could definitely see myself working with this artist. They would definitely be interested in the beats that I make. You know what I mean? Just make sure it makes sense. Everything matches up. So we have all those boxes checked off, right? You found like a song, you're, you're feeling it, you like it, you think that you could work with this artist. You could easily click on their profile and right there in their bio, it will say, hey, here's my socials. Here's my Instagram. Here's my Twitter. Here's my email, whatever. I would look at Instagram because it's very easy to DM someone on there and I shoot them a DM. I'd be like, yo, don't, don't do that. I didn't finish the sentence yet, but don't, don't be the person that says, yo, send, bye, like leaves the conversation with just yo. I never answer people who hit my DM saying, yo, yo, what? Yo, <laughs> like you have something to say, but like, what? You just type yo and leave. Don't be that person. Also, don't be the person that's like, yo, can I ask you a question? You just did ask me a question. Be intentional with what you say. Also, don't be the person who goes into the DM like, hey, man, yo, yo, you need beats? I got beats on the low, man. $5 a beat. You need beats? Huh? I got you. Don't be that person. Like I said in the very beginning of this video, it's about building relationships with these people. You're not going door to door trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. You're trying to build a relationship with someone. So when you hit them up, be like, yo, what's up? I'm a producer from wherever. I'd be like, yo, I'm Chambers. I'm a producer from New York. I just heard your song, whatever the title is on SoundCloud. And I'm not lying because I actually heard it. I was like, I would tell them, I just listened to your song and I thought it was dope. I really like the hook. I really like these lyrics. I really like the verse. I like the production. I like I like how it sounds. Actually tell them how you felt about the song. Because people will see that and they'll be like, oh, like you actually listen to the music that I put out. I appreciate that. People are going to answer to that. They're not going to answer to, yo. Be a human being with these people. It's not just transactions and whatever. It's talking to someone, letting them know that you like their music and also introducing yourself. You know, make sure you mention your producer. Because who are rappers looking to work with? Other producers. So by starting that message with, hey, what's up? I'm a producer. They're automatically like, oh, this could potentially be someone I'm going to work with. I'm interested in looking for beats. This person is a producer. Cool. And on top of that, they're actually showing love and saying that they listen to my song. And they might answer you and say, oh, what's up? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. If you're lucky, you'll get right into it and they'll be like, oh, you're, I see you're a producer. Don't look like a shady account. You know, have a profile picture, be, be a person and try to understand what's going on in that artist's life. They have an Instagram and they're, and they're posting stories. Maybe their stories are saying, yo, I need beats. And you see that and you're already talking to this person. You got to take advantage of that. Or it's like you see the stuff that they're posting about when they say that they're working on a new album and you want to be a part of that. You have to take advantage of these things. Get to know who you're talking to 
and how you can help them. How can you make yourself valuable to them? You know, there's so many people who skip right over that, who will just go right into the email or right into the message. I'm trying to sell beats here, shove them in your face. You want to build a relationship with someone who could be a potential customer of your beats and hopefully a repeat customer who, who buys several beats from you over time, get to know who they are and what they're doing in their life and how you can help them. And, you know, let the conversation keep going. Ask them some questions. Yo, where are you from? How long have you been making music? What type of music are you trying to make? Are you working on anything special? Blah, blah. Just keep the conversation going. Keep being a human being with this person. Eventually, you're going to end up with two options. They're either going to ask you, yo, I see that you're a producer and they take it from there maybe we could work or whatever and if they don't go that route then offer your business card which is basically yo man i really do like your work and i'm a producer i got plenty of beats that i feel like would fit with your style if you'd ever be interested in working let me know i could absolutely send you some snippets maybe you'll catch a liking for some of the stuff you just have to be ready for however the conversation goes sometimes they're going to extend their hand to you and if they're not like that then maybe you need to press a little bit and from there it's really up to you how you want to move forward don't be afraid to send some beats for free when you go to a store and there's a brand that really wants you to buy their ice cream they'll offer for you a free sample first you test it out you like it you're gonna want to buy the product right so i've never been afraid when i was first starting out to just send some beats out for free for the sake of building a relationship and seeing the potential of the music that we could make together you gauge how it's going with this person maybe you don't need to send anything for free and they're like straight up like okay how much do you charge for a beat that's a crazy thing to get if they straight up ask you how much do you charge and they already mess with your beats like you're in but other ones you you kind of have to like weave around engage the conversation about when is the appropriate time to try to sell a beat you could be like yeah man i'm down to work so i think what we could arrange is i'll send you three beats for free and we can see how that goes and then after that we can discuss my price or whatever and be nice that's a nice thing to offer like that's a nice little deal yo i'll give you the very first two beats for free we can see what happens if you want to keep working I could definitely set you up with some deals or whatever. You buy one beat, you get another one free, you know, like ease your way into it. Don't just be like, pay this amount now and I'll give you a beat. Maybe send a few for free. Maybe like be nice and give them a discount. Yo, I'll give you this one for half off. You're not just some producer who hides behind a laptop screen and makes beats all day. You have to be a human being. You need to be a business person. You got to be able to have a conversation with these people, understand how you can be valuable to them and just be smart about how you go about things. And eventually you'll get to that place where you're sending that beat over and they're sending you some money. The way that I did it, I didn't use BeatStars or I did for like one sale and I realized they took a cut out of what I was making. And I was like, I'd rather just send the beats to the artist myself and that requires a little trust because it's like i would ask them to send the money first and then i would immediately send the beat so they have to trust you but that's what that building relationship whole thing is about building trust with this person getting to know them and whatever you charge for a beat like when i was starting out you know give them like a beat lease 25 dollars for an mp3 okay they paypal you 25 dollars, and i immediately email them the beat there we go that's that's a sale you could if you could do that four times only four times that's a hundred dollars. You see how simple that seems? Like if you could do that four times, only four sales of $25 with some artists that you build a relationship with, that's your first hundred dollars selling beats. That's something to be proud of. And yeah, it's like if you want to increase your chances, then just keep on listening to other people's music, sending out those messages, whether it's on Instagram. Some of them don't have Instagram. They got an email in their SoundCloud bio. Hit their email with the same type of message and build a relationship with them. And at the same time, that also builds up your social media presence because you can follow them. They'll follow you back. And now you have like real relationships with artists, rappers, vocalists, singers. You follow each other. You work with each other. It's a win, 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 win. I think when I was doing that, I'd send out like 50 or 60 messages in a day. Just sit listen to stuff on SoundCloud and send out so many emails and so many messages and try to contact so many different people. Not everyone is going to answer. Not everyone is going to be interested. And that's why I sent out so many because eventually you'll get to the people you can really talk to and end up working with. You get into a good habit of doing that. You can start having repeat customers. You could be sending out messages or whatever, trying to get beat sales. And then out of the blue, an artist that you work with in the past DMs you saying, yo, I'm trying to buy some more beats. And now you have a repeat customer. Isn't that great? And you keep doing that. And as you do that, you're building your song catalog of songs that you've produced. And if people say, hey, man, what have you worked on? Now you have a bunch of songs that you've actually produced and you can send to them and be like, yeah, I work with artists. 
So yeah, that technique is so much more than just selling beats. It's building a brand. It's building your catalog. It's building relationships with people. Very, very effective, especially today with how popular social media is, how many artists are out there looking for producers, looking for beats every single day, songs uploaded every day, all these emails, all these Instagram accounts. You need to be on top of that. So that's my advice. That's how I started out with selling beats. Good luck to everyone who wants to try that method. I hope it works out for you. If it does and you start selling beats, shoot me an email and, and let me know because I would love to hear about that. That's awesome. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope I could help some people out today. If you're interested in learning more ways to take your beast to the next level, take your whole crap to the next level, be a well-rounded producer, then I highly recommend to you my online class, chamberscourses.com. Link in the description and in the comment section, really changing people's lives. Subscribe if you're new, drop a comment, and let me know what types of tutorials and videos you guys want to see me do in the future. It's Chambers and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Chambers. Chambers.